Hello, Blake Rudis here with F64 Academy and F64 Elite, and today I want to talk to you about my top three favorite features of the new Zone System Express 5.0 panel that I hand coded by myself with these little teeny tiny fingers. <laughs> All right, so let's jump in. Okay, so there are many benefits of the new Zone System Express 5. The first of which, which I didn't even consider in this whole top three, is the fact that if you are a former Zone System Express owner, if you've owned this panel before, this update is free. Just go ahead and shoot me an email if you didn't get that email and how to update it, okay? So now let me move into my top three favorite features, okay? So the first one is this new and improved uh, UI design. So I got a little bit better with CSS coding over the last several, I'd say last year, it's been almost a year since I updated this, maybe a little less. Uh, so I got better with CSS coding. I learned how to code the buttons with colors instead of use images in place of buttons. So what that means for you is it looks a little bit prettier than the last versions, but the main thing is that it loads faster because it doesn't have to call up all these images and put them on the panel every time it loads. Second cool thing about the UI is rounded buttons. So I added some rounded buttons on there to, to break it up and give you some variety. So instead of a bunch of square buttons all over the place, we now have rounded buttons. The other cool thing is color coded actual buttons. So the buttons physically having a color coding on them uh, for display purposes. So if you look down at like the only darks and only lights, um, those are blend if buttons that when you click them, they automatically make your blend if settings only apply to your darks or no darks, only lights, no lights, or only mids. And what that does is it really just helps you as you're working on your work to see those dark buttons and those light buttons again it's muscle memory and it's uh you know color muscle memory my second favorite feature on the new zone system express 5.0 panel is the heat map now you've probably seen the heat map before if you've been following my youtube tutorials in the past but this heat map is awesome okay so when we click the five tone heat map what it does is it basically gives us a gradient heat map on our image and it doesn't look very hot but if you look at the coinciding buttons here the black is the darkest areas the blue is our middle darks our midtones are magenta our highlights are yellow and our highest highlights are white so what that allows us to do is we can actually use a curve underneath all of uh, this five tone heat map to watch everything change as we move it. So if I take the uh, targeted adjustment tool here and say, you know, these dark black areas, they're pretty wicked dark. Let me go ahead and make those a little bit brighter. And then those blue areas, let me just go ahead and transition those down and keep those a little bit darker like they were. And then maybe go into like these magenta areas right about here and make those a little bit brighter. So if we turn that five tone heat map off, this is what we did with that curve. It's a really quick and easy way to assess your image to say, okay, what's too dark, what's too light, and what do I need to do to fix it? There's a curve right here to do that for you. You can either do it with that heat map on it so you can see a visual display of all of your tones changing via color. Because I tell people all the time to think in terms of tone, but it's hard to think in terms of tone when you're not trained to see tones. We're trained to see colors. So this takes your tones, turns them into colors, allows you to assess them and modify them all in the same heat map. There's a five tone heat map, which breaks your image down into five layers and a seven tone heat map, which breaks it down into seven color layers. The really wicked cool part about this is at any point, if I come in here and I say, you know what, I would like a blue, uh, a mask for just the blue areas. I can click on this button here and that's going to give me a mask for all of the areas that are in blue. It pops me into a sampled color selection here and stops me so that I can make that maybe that fuzziness a little bit smaller so it's not quite as much or as bright as I want it to be and press OK. It's going to give me a curve now. I can turn this off to now modify just those dark areas or just the areas that were in blue. So it basically just adds another masking feature to the whole uh, Zone System Express. My third favorite feature in the Zone Zone Express 5 comes in the Effects tab. There is a new Enhanced Contrast 2 button here where I learned some Voodoo Ninja tricks in Photoshop. And trust me, this is one of those things where I just stumbled upon it completely accidental in all of my playtime, my experimentation time that I tell you to do so much of. In my experimentation time, I found a way to create details in my image that you would not 
believe okay so I'm gonna zoom in uh, to this area right here in this photograph and you can see that these trees are rather far away so you know we talk about that thing about like getting everything tack sharp and focus stacking in order to do it well this enhanced contrast 2 button pretty much takes that away watch this we press enhanced contrast 2 it's gonna give us an extreme amount of details in in the act of what it's doing but but just look at this if we take this radius and we bring it up it's gonna make it really detailed and really bad but if we bring this down to like 1.2 pixels and press OK, and then press Continue, and look at the before and after. Look at that. We have tack sharp detail in those trees that are probably um, hundreds of miles away from me. I was at Washburn Point here on top of Washburn Point. This is clearly uh, at least 75 miles away, uh, but look, they're in tack sharp detail. And because they are controlled by linear light, we have the fill option here to bring that fill down so it's not quite as potent. It's gonna bring a lot of noise in your detail areas, but the cool part is we can invert that mask and then we can just paint anywhere we want on this image with the color white and watch what happens. Boom, that kind of detail you just don't get in any other way. And I'm gonna tell you this, I'm not I'm not like, um, you know, uh, tooting my own horn here, but th the thing is that you cannot get this in any other, any other way, okay? Um, I've done a lot of research on how to create detail like this where detail did not exist and there is nothing else like it that is going to make your trees look like that from that far away i've tried this on multiple things even in foreground rock areas where you just paint that on it starts to bring some of that area back and really bring out some of the details where detail was lost so there's many things that i love about the new zone system express 5 obviously i hand coded it myself so i'm a little biased and i really just want to take the time to share my top three favorite things with you uh, because you know what there's all kinds of buttons on here. There's all kinds of features on here. And I really just wanted to show showcase to you the things that I, the creator of this thing, are most excited about. So if you own the Zone System Express, what are you excited about? Go ahead and tell me in the comments section below. If you've never heard about this before, just go ahead and click the link in the description. It will take you over to the page where you can learn a lot more about the Zone System Express. I just want to take the time to thank you very much for watching this. I hope you enjoyed it. Please comment, share it, tell a friend. And above all, you know, thanks for watching and pursuing your passion.